What is up everyone? It is DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel today. We, got, we have a good one. We got the Fine Fine. It is the K688CT. It is a dynamic microphone kit. We're going to get all into, into it, today, it, see what you can use it for, see what it's good for and those types of things and give you my honest review on it. So thank you so much for tuning in. It's DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. If you've never tuned in, just know that I love to do reviews. I love tutorials. I love to just help uh, if I can help one person out there, giving some information, giving it to you as easy as possible and leaving you some links, then I'm doing a good job and I'm happy that I can do that for you. We've hit 5,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. You guys are so awesome. We are continuing to grow this channel and it is, uh, you, I, you know, I can't thank you more than from the bottom of my heart and say we're growing a big community. We're growing a cool community, uh, great feedback, great positivity and great comments. So all that good stuff. Thank you so much and let's continue to grow join the martini nation subscribe share comment whatever you guys want i'll get back to you if i can and thank you so much all right let's get into the fine fine ampli tank uh so this is a dynamic microphone it does come in a kit it does have the uh the table stand comes in a very very nice box here uh, very well packed all that good stuff almost about the size a little bit longer than a normal shoe box uh very very cool there uh pretty good price point the whole kit the actual microphone itself is about 52 dollars depending on where you're where you're getting it and the the uh kit all together is about 74 dollars. so you're actually getting the boom arm holder all that kind of stuff and we'll show you what's in the box so uh here's the actual microphone itself it is very 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 nice this uh windscreen right here uh very very nice very very nice material feels fantastic uh and the microphone itself looks pretty good good build good construction those types of things on the microphone does have xlr on the back does have a 3.5 millimeter jack for your monitoring and it does have like i said xlr and a usb type c port for power and for hooking up data to go to your computer or your PlayStation or those types of things if you want to go ahead and use this for those types of things. It does have microphone volume uh, gain for your input and it does also have a gain for your headphones so you can monitor like I said. Very nice construction, good build, you know, very very good looking microphone. Also in the box you will get some instructions, uh, pretty good instructions. It's uh, usually they're like one page, um, but this actually has detailed instructions on a bunch of different things that you need to know, how to hook it up, all those types of things, uh, decent instructions. It does come with a pretty, pretty decently long cord. I would say this is at least a, probably eight foot. Uh, I definitely know it's longer than six foot. Uh, so yeah, it's a very, very nice cord. USB type C uh, right there, nice cord, uh, feels well constructed, has their little um, wrap tie as well for fine fine. And finally, they do have the, here is the arm, the table stand arm, oh. very well constructed, very nice, very, very good. And the actual table arm itself. Uh, very cool. Just make sure there is a little clip. If you drop this on the floor, that clip will pop out. I already did it once. And so just make sure you keep an eye on that clip that's in there uh, to hold this little piece right here for the table stand. But other than that, uh, very easy to put together. Like I said, you're just basically putting this piece into here, clamping it onto the table, screwing in your microphone, and you're good to go. So very, very easy. We're gonna go ahead and do that here in just a second. All right, everybody, I just wanted to show you really, really quick that, you know, I, get, I, I just, you just clamp this down, you tighten it down here onto your table right here. You also can tighten right here for the arm on this side, right there. You can see me tightening that. Then you go ahead and you connect your microphone right here. You can tighten this. We have the microphone right here. Notice that you do have a mute uh, when it's green, it's on, you're live, and when it's red, it's muted. And like I said, on the back, we do have the top one is your gain for your headphones, and the bottom one is your gain for the microphone. 
so that's kind of what it would look like set up. You can see it does look pretty professional. It looks nice. There's everything going for it that way. Like I said, good build, good constructions, hanging on the table, everything. And then all we need to do is, like I said, we have this really long cord that we have here, USB Type-C. We'll go ahead and plug the microphone in here. It also has XLR as well, so you can go XLR into a few different things, but we're going to talk about that here in just a second. Uh, but on the top, you do have a, a green light here. Let's see if I can show you guys that. Yeah, yeah. you can see the green light right here. That means we're good to go, and I can see, tighten this up. And we're going to go ahead and show you the microphone here. Yeah. Now, in your settings, all you need to do is go to your audio setup in your settings, and you make sure that you go to your playback, which is what we want to be my laptop so that's where we're going to hear the music from or hear the voice from and then you can go to your recording channels or your recording device and it does show the fine fine microphone and we just click on the microphone and that'll be our primary microphone and then we can go ahead and record and so now it does have a head you can have a headphone jack on the back and you can actually hook it up to the back and you can monitor what you're saying everything through the microphone you're not going to hear it come out the speakers you're only going to hear it coming through the uh, monitor in the microphone so um, let's go ahead and do some recordings here I'm going to go ahead and record DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with the fine fine microphone this is how it sounds I'm about an inch away from the microphone and we're going to go ahead and give it a test on audacity software and I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the gain as well all the way up all the way up now yep definitely can see we got some volume there and I'll adjust it down just a little bit and that's what we have for volume all right you saw me do that live now it's definitely not picking me up from this distance uh, you do have to be at least probably a good you know what is this as an inch away for your best, so one to two inches away for your best uh, work. All right, so I was recording that the whole time, and now we're gonna go back, and I'm gonna play that over, and you guys will be able to hear what that sounds like real quick. DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with the fine, fine microphone. This is how it sounds. I'm about an inch away from the microphone, and we're gonna go ahead and give it a test on Audacity software. Go ahead and adjust the gain as well. All the way up. All the way up now. Yep, definitely can see we've got some volume there. And I'll adjust it down just a little bit. And that's what we have for volume. Now, it's definitely not picking me up from this distance. Uh, you do have to be at least probably a good, you know, what is this? It definitely wasn't picking me up from, you know, four to five inches away, but it definitely was picking me up about one to two inches away so you definitely have to be kind of in the microphone real close to it um, for it to pick you up now it does have the mute and the mute when you hit mute it is awesome it, there's no like click there's no audible touch that you hear when you're recording i tested that many times uh, so the mute does work very good now i will have to say that this is more definitely it is a dynamic microphone but it is definitely more of a usb microphone in my opinion uh, because it works the best and you have the best features with it when it's hooked up via the USB and it's running with your computer or running, you know, with, you know, plugged in via USB. So if you're using it with your PlayStation, your uh, whatever, it does work with, you know, PS4, PS5, uh, you can do, uh, you know, podcasting and get live gaming, those types of things. It does work as an extra microphone. So also because of that reason too your usb why i call it a usb microphone is also because the volumes will not work it nothing you know nothing works unless it's actually plugged in via usb and working with your software with your laptop or those types of things but uh, very very good sound very very good um, blocking of outside noises in my opinion uh, pretty good at volumes like if you're you know yelling screaming those types of things but other than that if you're using it for normal uses very very good mic for the price you're getting about 50 bucks for a um, dynamic mic that you can use for recording singing uh, those types of things as long as you get the correct distance 
uh, you're good to go and it, it does work very well good build good construction and everything works within it so uh, very cool there let's go ahead and plug it in via the XLR and I'll show you the ups and downs with that all right let's go ahead and talk about this mic as an XLR type microphone just a normal dynamic microphone that you could cook hook it into certain things now I did test it with many mixers I I used my Yamaha this is a very very nice mixer the Yamaha AG3 I used my some cheaper mixers as well like the uh, must lady uh, that's like a $30 mixer I also used one that I just did a review on uh, that's a mid-size mid-price one and I the only mixer that kind of did it right was my mid-priced one and it just has low volume as a dynamic microphone in my opinion which is kind of a negative i'm sorry to say but it just does and so unless you have something that can pep it up uh like this uh mackie uh, thump go uh, you're not gonna be able to hear it very well through mixers even with volumes amped up and things like that which was really surprising to me and you know kind of disappointing because i kind of wanted to use it at my DJ table, uh, just like it is. Uh, it's a dynamic mic, right? It's this, just like this microphone right here. It's a dynamic mic. This is a really cheap mic, but yet it still works pretty awesome. And I could use this as a backup all day long at a gig and you'd be able to hear me just fine. I will plug this in right now. Mic check, check, check. I can turn it on. Mic check, one, two, three. And I can hear this. This would be an easy, very, very cheap substitute uh, microphone. And you can definitely hear me on that speaker. Now, the volumes are up a little bit. So it, it's, you know, that microphone's lacking volume. But yet I don't have it in my microphone channel that I should have it. I have this microphone in there. And the reason why is because right now this microphone is plugged in, but it's super quiet. But if I hit the microphone button on it, to get to boost the db a little bit on it mic check mic check you can absolutely hear it and so uh it works really really good and you could honestly use it for something at your dj table but the volumes are up a little bit so i will point that out the volumes are up a little bit but it could be used directly plugged into the, my speaker now for some reason like i said i just don't know why i was not getting it to work uh, with enough volume through various mixers so i don't know what is going on with that um, i'm just not getting the volume i should be getting and so that is a you know a negative for me because i don't know what's going on it should be working just fine it works fine uh, hooked up straight to the speaker uh, as you can see here but i do have to hit that microphone button to be able to boost uh, the input on it just a little bit so the next test I'll do it is with a controller. We'll see how that works, and then we'll wrap this video up for you. All right, so I wanted to show you one more thing. We have my WeGo hooked up, which is a very, very cool controller that everybody I should have as a backup, in my opinion. If you can still find them, a very, very cool controller. Uh, great backup, Pioneer, DJ, WeGo. But anyways, uh, I never have any issues with it. Can hook up any mic to it, can hook up a lot of things it has a lot of actual input for the microphone that you barely have to turn the volume up to get volume so to me it's almost like a microphone boost on the WeGo so this microphone does work pretty decently with it so I'll go ahead and check that up and just give the microphone very little volume mic check mic 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 check mic check one two three four and you can see that it actually works really, really good. Now, I did have to go through a couple cables because I was getting some audio feedback and a little bit of buzz uh, with a couple of my cables. And most of my cables are new that I'm using here, so that was interesting. But uh, this cable is brand new and I hooked it up and it worked fine. But I was using a Rockville cable over here and I was having a little bit of issue. So uh, this is a mono cable. Uh, the Rockville one was a stereo cable, so maybe that was an issue that this is a XLR microphone mono cable for a microphone. Uh, so maybe that was my issue, but uh, really it should have been working without any uh, feedback that I was having. But other than that, it does work. 
uh, with my controller, so it should work with most controllers out there. Like I said, the problem is will be the volume levels that you're gonna get out of it. Sometimes they're really good, like this Wego. We got plenty of volume. It could definitely work at the DJ table and sound pretty decent. But, uh, you know, we saw that we hooked it up to the speaker. You have to have the microphone button on it. And I was having issues with my mixers, but we'll check that out. I'll double check it as well. All right, so I did want to just give Fine Fine one more try with the AOG 03 from Yamaha to see if it worked. And I did get it to work. Uh, so it might have been a cable issue that I did have, which one other thing, you know, always check your cables, uh, recheck all those types of things. So it does work, but it still has issues and I'll show you. So I have the volumes, uh, kind of up there. And so we can turn it up and you can hear me coming out and it doesn't sound too bad, but I really, really, really. And then you get a little bit of buzz, buzz, buzz. And so right about i mean right about here is where you need it and it's just not enough it's not enough volume and i really have them cranked up and i you know you don't want to you don't want to bury your gains when you're using a microphone so it's just it's just an issue uh with some of them and uh you do have to be right up close to it too because you you can't even hear me if you, you know, go any farther back so i think it does have a little bit of volume issue a little bit of distortion issue because of the volume issues uh, because you have to kind of raise the volumes up and they're just too they're too high the volumes are too high for it to sound really really good uh, especially when you you know talk up a little bit louder and you get that little buzz when you're using it as an XLR dynamic mic when you're plugged in via USB to uh, you know a laptop or whatever you're using it works really good and it actually worked really good with my controller too, but that's gonna be, that's gonna depend on controller to controller, uh, depending on how they route their sound. Uh, with that uh, Wego, the microphone, you barely turn the volume up and it, gave, it gives it a lot of gain. So it's just gonna depend on controller to controller. So that's the issue with the XLR part of this mic is that it's gonna vary uh, for certain inputs and for certain power levels. And like I said, I can plug it into these Mackie Thump Go and it's got enough volume that you need. Uh, as a live mic, you might have some issues. Is what I'm putting in it as a DJ, I wanna put that out there. But as a recording mic for your laptop, a USB type mic, uh, it's looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and give it pros and cons and, and get you guys out of here. All right, everybody, let's wrap this up with pros and cons on the Fifine Dynamic Microphone Kit. It is the K688CT. It is a kit, comes with mostly everything you need to get going. And as a USB microphone, the pros for sure is it's really, really good as a USB microphone. And so you have the, all the functionality from it. You have mute, uh, you have pretty much like it's mutes and it kind of turns it on and off. So there's no sound involved with that. So it works really, really good. You have the volumes, you can monitor your uh, voice with the earphones uh, with the 3.5 millimeter jack. So it works really, really good as a USB microphone. My laptop had no problem picking it up as the fine, fine microphone. And so, you know, finding it as a device worked flawlessly as a USB microphone. The value that you get the microphone at about $75, $50 ish. Uh, if you just buy the microphone, $75. If you buy it in the kit that with the arm, you can see here and, uh, the USB, uh, cables and everything comes with mostly everything you need to be a USB microphone and so that is very very positive good construction good build very very easy pretty much plug-and-play when it came to uh, my laptop uh, you will have to kind of select some things if you're using it for live gaming for your PlayStation or your Xbox or those types of things you're plugging in as an external microphone you're gonna have to kind of go into those devices and select those things but really, really pretty much plug and play. Uh, the device has picked it up very easily and it has those features with the volumes uh, for your headphones and for your microphone within the microphone and the mute and, you know, uh, live play works really, really good as a USB microphone. Let's and go into some negatives. Now, my negatives are as an XLR microphone, 
it's not working as well. Once again, if you use it as an XLR microphone, even plugged in to power or something like that, none of the extra features work. None of your mute, your, your volumes, your gains, your monitoring, none of that works as an XLR microphone. And so a little disappointing. I don't know what the functionality of that is. It's just a normal XLR microphone. I really wish it did have that on and off switch as an XLR microphone, that would be fantastic, but it's just not there and it does not work. Now, as an XLR microphone as well, I found it just didn't work as well with certain devices like my AOG Yamaha mixer. It just, you really have to crank the volumes for it to work, which is weird. And then with my, with my Wego DJ controller, it worked fine. You know, you could, it has, a uh, pretty much a hot microphone anyways on the volume there, but uh, you barely turn up the volume and you have plenty of microphone. You could actually use it with that controller very, very easily. If you're using it with the Mackie Go Thump, it has to be hooked into channel one and it has to have that microphone boost on there from the line uh, button. There's a line button and a microphone button and if you push that button in and it gives that microphone boost, it works fine, then you can use it with the Mackie Go Thump directly plugged into that channel one. If you use it in channel two, it just doesn't have enough volume. You really have to crank the volumes and you still it just still wouldn't work, it wouldn't be enough volume. I noticed with a different mixer, other than the Yamaha, the, my other mixer that I have, that I've done a review on, it works, but I really had to crank the volumes up, but it was acceptable, it did work with it. So it just doesn't work the same with everything um, because of the volume levels uh, across the board as an XLR mark. So I can't recommend it as an XLR microphone because it just didn't work with different products very well. And so that could be an issue for you if you're trying to use it with your mixer, with your uh, soundboard or with whatever you're trying to do to do podcasting. Um, you could have some issues. You might not. It might work fine. You might have to uh, nudge the volumes a little bit, but some items, it just didn't work very, very well as an XLR microphone. And so I just want to put that out as a word of caution. It did work, but it just didn't work very well because the volumes were a little bit low and I really had to crank volumes and, and that's sometimes not acceptable with certain devices. So something to put out there. Also, if it comes in a kit, like the dynamic microphone kit, the K88CT, I wish it came with an XLR cable. It really should. And I know that they have packages that you can get something extra, but it shouldn't be extra. If you're getting a kit, it should have an XLR cable, especially since it's an XLR microphone. It should have a the USB cord with the USB Type-C, the boom arm like it is in the kit, and it should have an XLR cable, whether that be an XLR to female, to male, or an XLR, um, this would be a, yeah, so an XLR female to a quarter jack. It should come with that, and that way, even if it's a small cord, even if it's a little four foot cord, at least that would be enough to go from the microphone to your mixer. That way I don't have to try a bunch of uh, XLR cables to figure out which one works best. And I did notice that this works best with a mono cable. So uh, the XLR, I actually have one right here, I'll show you real quick. This is a female uh, to, no, this, this is a mono uh, quarter jack. So it worked best with this cable with most of my devices. It didn't work so hot with a stereo cable uh, I used a Rockville stereo cable, which has the two pinstripes, and it didn't work as well with that cable. So if the kit came with the cable, I wouldn't have had that issue. I could have just used the cable provided, but since it doesn't, I wish it came with all the cables. So enough talk on that. Review on the K688CT from Fine Fine. Uh, really good USB mic, but not so well on the XLR mic, but thank you so much for tuning in today. It's been DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. If you have any questions, comments, or thoughts, please leave them in the description. That's all I have for you to do. Stay tuned for more videos and reviews on this channel, and we'll see you really, really soon on the next video.